Cinderella. Yeah. I have to do everything here, don't I? Ain't no prince gonna come and get me. Right then, so we've just got off the dyno with this. Now the next job is sorting the snorkels out because as I've showed you before, the air boxes were damaged and the turbos have probably swallowed some crap, but they seem to be boosting reasonably okay, making decent power. Plenty for what we're doing with it. If they go pop, they go pop. But we wanted to get this snorkel situation sorted because as you'll see when the air boxes come out, it's probably an easier time to see them. The intakes are like about sort of this height and we've already had water come up this high and luckily we've not killed any uh, connecting rods because they bend like a banana when that happens. So we're going to take the air boxes completely out and because the turbos, you'd imagine the turbos would be somewhere middle here but they're not, they're right at the back. There's some weird pipe arrangement that comes up, it comes up and there's a MAF sensor and then it's into the air box. So, We've got to try and figure out how we're going to come from that to these little air boxes that we've had ram air suppliers, which these are not stupid money either. So that's going to go like that. And then we've got a selection, which I think that one's uh, the 90 to 80. So we could put that in there. And then in theory, the math sensor will just go straight into that. And we're going to probably have them like stood up like that. One of these bends here from the math into what I believe from looking at pictures, it's a 57 mil. Um, it might be 51, but we'll have to reduce it down again if it is like that. And then we've got a full DIY snorkel kit for us. So we're going to be coming sort of off the top of the air filter, out of there, maybe another one up and then we're going to be coming again across here, 45 degree up here somehow, or thereabouts. And then we're going to probably be something like that. Might squash end of this a little bit, make it look a little bit more sort of neater or whatever. I'm not too sure, but that's the idea. How are we going to fix it to this? I've no idea. We're probably going to cut into the wing and sink the pipe in so it doesn't stick up as much. I think it looks a bit neater when it's sort of half, half buried. But we'll see, not 100% sure, but I've mentioned it to a couple of people who's emailed us and both of them said, we want it. So we're gonna have, to, rather than do it as a one-off like we're gonna originally do and just, it is what it is. It's gonna have to be something nice and neat. If we can't get the math centers in where we want them, then We've got these bosses that we can weld on, but looking at the room that we've got, and it has to really go after the air filter, the math sensor, we're gonna to struggle to get anything else in there anyway. So we'll see, but we've got all the eventualities covered here, I hope. And uh, yeah, we're all making up as we go along. And then we've got to see what's what. The tube we've got is here, which I'll grab that. And We've had a little experimentation because it's obviously going to be quite a big, unwieldy piece that's not going to be easy to post. And I think both of the customers, one New Zealand, one's Australia. Um, the, the overseas, it's going to be expensive. So we might make it in two pieces, which that's gone a little bit big, but we'll flare it up and make it with maybe a joiner on here, which might be on the outside we a clamp around it, something like that, but we'll try and incorporate that into one of the brackets or something like that. But we'll see. I'm not good at looking at things and thinking how I want to do it, but when Mark's done it, I'll show him how I don't want to do it when, <laughs> if, if I'm not happy with it, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, see what happens.
So Mark's been working away. We've managed to get all this out. So a couple more bits to take off the other side. This is how it goes onto the turbo. There's another fitting that goes on there that bolts on. Might have a picture of it somewhere. But that goes down to 51 mil, not 57 like I expected. Air filters have definitely been getting a bit of mud on them. So that's when Scott went into that water. Ah! So I feel lucky engine is dead. Um, at this side, where we're going to be cutting is where this is. It's like that, I think, something like that. So, or like that, should I say. So we're going to uh, have to rethink the screen wash bottle, but we've plenty of options for that yet. We'll not worry too much um, until we've got the snorkels in. So as you can see, or probably can't see, I don't know. I'll try and get my torch on it again. We always forget this. We've sort of gone onto there with a little coupler and a bend, an alley bend, and then another silicon bend up. And then we're going to potentially have to weld the map sensor boss on here, which is not ideal. I'm hoping that doesn't cause any tuning related issues, but we shall see. But that needs to be on an 80 mil bit for it to work properly. So we'll see. And then this hole that's been cut out is probably not perfect. It's probably a bit big in a couple of places, but it is what it is. We'll just get another wing if we have to. It's not end at world. We'll just make sure that the other side and the template that we're going to produce is correct. So then this is going to be something like that, welded like that. Might want to shorten it a little bit. And this we're going to probably end up doing a bit less of a bend. So it might end up with uh, a slash cut here or something and then going up straighter or cut, cut into the bend, should I say. So yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're quite a few hours in already, so it's uh, not an easy job, but trying to do things properly. It takes time. So we'll leave Mark to it. Let him get this side finished now and then he can do what he needs to do on that side. So we'll come back.
So, Mark and Tom's finally got them sorted. It uh, took a lot longer than we expected, but they're probably a bit better than we expect them to be as well. And uh, should be a nice product to list on website. So, as you can see, 80 mil stacks. We sort of we could, got quite a few options what we could do at the other end, but I think that's probably it's probably the best way of doing it. We'll uh, we'll see. We're going to jig them up and make sure it's absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of a twist in each one. You can get them a little bit out if you wanted to, but we'll measure all that when we jigging it up. So yeah, I think the holes we sort of finish off with this bit of trim. It'd be nice to have cut it a bit tighter, but because it were in and out that many times when we're making them, we had to cut it a little bit more than we wanted to. So we're going to, if we're selling these, they're going to have a little uh, a template that you can put on and mark it out. And then if you need to trim it a little bit, you can, but hopefully you can get it a bit tighter than this, but it is what it is. So yeah, really happy we are. It looks, I think we're going to powder coat them. I'm not too sure. We'll see. So yeah, under the bonnet, you see the filters there. Got the math sensor boss on there. Hopefully that all works out. And then we did put a reducing silicon on there to the standard pipe, but that got in the way a little bit. It was a little bit too fat. It touched the exhaust manifold. So we've ended up putting the original pipe back on with a new Jubilee clip and then reduced, we've reduced it down in the aluminium bend. So it's very, very tight. There's not really much else you can do with that and bead rolling the end of these boxes were a little bit tricky, so hopefully we can do them uh, a little bit neater when we're sending them out. But yeah, all in all, looks pretty good. We did have a little issue, I think Danny's got a picture of it, when uh, we drilled this wing, the GPS antenna is smack under it, well literally smack in the middle of where we drilled, so you need to make sure you take that off first. And at the minute, the screen wash bottle's gone, but we have got a bit of room to put something back in there, so we'll uh, we'll decide what we're going to do, and we'll get that sorted, and that we'll either tag that at the end of this video, or we'll just make some notes in the kit. But we're definitely going to put another screen wash tank in. There's room here to put one in, and this little thing here, this is described as water drain. I'm just going to trace the other end of it. I'm pretty sure it just goes into the chassis somewhere, but we'll figure that out. But just leave it out for now. But pretty much everything except drilling the wing and this little tech screw here that we've put in. We might have somewhere nicer head than these. These are literally what you use for a roof, but we've got some better ones coming, some stainless steel ones. Other than that, everything's reversible, so it's not going to be, it's not going to look ghastly if uh, you just get a pair of wings and cover them holes up if you ever took them off. But I think most people buying these and taking them off-road are expecting them to uh, stay like this. So, yeah, really happy and uh, let's see what they sound like. If you want a pair of these, hopefully by the time this video goes out, we've got them jigged, listed, and on the website, so they'll be in the description. Thank you. <laughs>